Hi class, it's Mrs. Blodgett. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to use vectors to find the weight of an object. This is your warm-up. Go ahead and give it a shot. Feel free to press pause, try it on your own, and then press play and see what the answer is. Okay, so it's really just the addition of these two vectors. I called the first player player A, and I called the second player player B. Remember now that one newton is the amount of force required to accelerate one kilogram mass at a rate of one meter per second squared. It's the international system of units derived unit of force. Just informational there. So what we first need to do is write player A's vector, and that is 66 magnitude and a direction of 90 degrees. Remember, this is from standard position. If we go ahead and turn that into its i and j components, we will end up with 0i and 66j, because it's just 90 degrees. Player B, on the other hand, is 88 degrees, mag or 88 newtons of force, um, and it's a zero degree angle since it's going due east. This turns into 88i plus 0j. What we need to do then is add the two vectors together. I'm going to call this player R for resultant vector, and that's A plus B, and we end up with 88I plus 66J. We need to find that magnitude and direction angle for that vector. So the magnitude is the square root of 88 squared plus 66 squared, which is 110 newtons. And the angle, we'll use the tangent of the angle, is 66 divided by 88. And you end up with the angle is 37 degrees. This was first quadrant, and as you can see, it was in the northeast direction, which made this problem much easier. Um, if we do want to write that as a bearings, though, it's north 53 degrees east. Because remember, bearing comes um, clockwise from north. Okay, now we'll get into the new information. This problem is where you're trying to find the weight of an object and so let's just read the problem. Two movers require a magnitude of force of 300 pounds to push a piano up a ramp that's inclined at an angle of 20 degrees from the horizontal. So you can kind of see right here is the ramp and there's the 20 degrees. Now the question is how much does the piano weigh? The piano's weight is related to what the force is required to push it up the ramp and how big or how steep the ramp is. So take a look at the three forces here. We've got force one, which is the force of gravity pulling down. We've got force two, which is the force required to push the piano up the ramp. You can see it's parallel to the ramp in the drawing. And then we have force three, which is what we call the normal force. That's the force of the piano against the ramp. And note that they make a right triangle. This is really just a basic right triangle trig sign problem, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. Here is your formula. The sine of the angle equals the magnitude of force two divided by the magnitude of force one. Now, the force of gravity is the weight of the object. So for solving this problem, we know the angle, so the sine of 20 degrees equals 
The force required to move the piano up the ramp, we know that as well. That is uh, 300 pounds. And what we don't know is how much the piano weighs. So now you can see we've got one unknown and a nice little equation. If you multiply both sides by the magnitude of force one, which is the weight of the piano, and then you divide both sides by the sine of 20 degrees, you will get your answer, which the magnitude of force one is 877 pounds. So it becomes a sine problem because this ends up being equal to this 20 degree angle here. And then you can see that you've got opposite force two divided by adjacent, or no, hypotenuse force one. Uh, the normal force is uh, just perpendicular to the ramp. And uh, we'll talk more about normal forces later but that's not really used in the calculation. On the next two slides, you're gonna to try to do them on your own. So pause it once you see the problem, and then shortly thereafter, I will go through and show you the answer. Okay, go ahead and try these. Feel free to pause it here. Okay, here are the answers. The first one, we have the 50 pound, 50 pound wagon weight, and we have an angle of 20 degrees. So the sine of 20 degrees equals uh, force two, which is your unknown force, the one required to hold it, over the weight of the wagon and that means the force required to hold the wagon on the hill is 50 times the sine of 20 degrees which is 17 pounds okay the second problem we want to know what the angle is we know that it's a 40 pound lawn mower and it requires a force of 16 pounds to hold it so the sine of the unknown equals 16 divided by 40. We end up with the angle is 23.6 degrees. That's it. Your homework will have two problems like this and three problems like the night before. Um, hopefully you have no problem. We will talk about it later.